Greetings and welcome to my new calculus channel. My name is John Gabriel. And today I'll be talking with you about politics, about human misery, about history, and maybe a little bit about mathematics as well. So let's begin. Now, you've probably all seen <clears throat> in the news, <coughs> if you're in the United States, that uh, a lot is going on in terms of court cases, in terms of uh, political events, <clears throat> etc. And of course, uh, the person you see in front of you is no other than Donald Trump, who is, of course, as you may have guessed, a scumbag, a phony, a liar, a cheat, a clown and somehow also an evil reptile, all those things together. <clears throat> how somebody can be an evil reptile and a clown at the same time? Well, don't know how he gets it right, but he does. But anyway, I'm not gonna talk primarily about Donald Trump because he's only part of the big equation. So let's get rid of Donald Trump and let's talk about the chief factors that are the main reasons humanity is in such a mess. Okay. So <clears throat> in my opinion, <coughs> inequality is the main reason this planet is in such utter chaos, in such a state of decay, in such a state of corruption. And we're at a point in the history of humans where we're pretty close to once again destroying all, not only human life, but all life from this planet. I don't know whether it will happen soon or not, and nobody knows, but it's a possibility, just like it was during the Cold War. So <clears throat> who are the main characters behind inequality? Well, naturally the wealthy. In particular, the very wealthy who own more wealth than the bottom 70% of the population. And I'm talking about people like Bezos, George Bezos, Elon Musk, Warren Buffett, Gates, Mark Zuckerberg, Sergey Brin, Larry Page, George Soros. All of these are chief reptiles who flourish more under cruel capitalism than cruel communism. They all have their own agenda naturally, and they're all trying to influence world events in their favor. So if you want to know <coughs> where the big problem starts, it starts off with greed, lust, and the superset of these, which is inequality. Okay, now you supersets it. Maybe I am warming up to George Cantor. <laughs> okay, then next, we have the clergy, these are the cult leaders, and they're always never far from trouble. They're very close to the main events. I mean, in World War II, even the Vatican was very close to the trouble and did absolutely nothing. And they have a money interest too, by the way. And so you may ask, what is this money interest? Well, it's called long-term job security. That's what it is. They're false prophets. All of them are false prophets. I don't care whether you're a Christian or a Jew or a Muslim. Your religion is, I'm sorry to say, just a bunch of rubbish. Okay. Because religions are rubbish. So, and of course, the Bible itself was written by my misogynistic and bigoted ancestors, the Jews and the Greeks. Okay. So, <laughs> and trust me, every single one of them had to wipe their asses after a bowel movement. And I'm sure the majority of them didn't do it properly, unless they were Muslim, of course. <laughs> okay, never mind. Now, the next uh, organizations or the next factor, as I would like to call it, uh, of this big catastrophe are the courts and governments, okay? So we have corrupt leaders with no moral compass, no integrity, no honesty, a good example here, Donald J. Trump, Putin, Xi, Kim Jong-un, and even that 
Hungarian piece of shit who was recently shot. I hope he dies quickly. What's his name again? Viktor Orban. Um, all of these people are corrupt leaders. They do not care about anybody but themselves. Okay, And when you have corrupt government and good people do not get involved in government, then what happens is you end up being ruled by fools. And that's what's happening right now because people like me aren't interested in leading other people. Uh, it's true that philosophers should become kings and kings should learn to be philosophers. Okay, that's a very old true saying. <clears throat> the next thing we have are the education organization, the educational organizations. And by the way, a lot of them are mainstream math academics, a bunch of morons if there ever was a, a, a group that had more stupid people in it than these particular types. Okay, so a lot of them will support Trump and authoritar authoritarian leaders. And is that a surprise to you? No, I mean, they have no logic to begin with in mathematics. So what makes you think they have any logic when it comes to the right way of living, the right way of doing things? They're all ugly. They're dark. They stink. Their methods are uh, obscure. They're dirty. They're filthy. These are the kind of academics that influence educational organizations. And then, of course, we have the influencers, okay? <clears throat> this is this group here, this last group. Okay, these, these are sort of at the bottom, well, not at the bottom, sort of halfway, halfway in the shit pile that is humanity. And they're the ones who are propagating their phony ideas, advocating uh, destructive ideologies and, you know, the, the so-called influence and movers, the ones that you find on YouTube, social networks, etc. Okay. So now, <clears throat> where am I going with all this? Well, first of all, we'd need to assign an order of evil to each one of these groups here. Okay. In my opinion, the most evil is this group here the group of inequality, okay? They're number one at the top. All humanity's problems are caused by the rich. It's uh, probably not uh, wrong to say that uh, uh, that one individual in the history who said it's harder for rich people to pass through the eye of a needle had it wrong. I think he had it right. Um, not that I believe in the Bible, but uh, rich people don't care about others. The Bill Gateses, the Buffets, the Zuckerbergs, all the other their associated scum. I mean, Soros, George Soros, for example, was helping the Nazis in his home country before he fled. Okay, he was actually uh, giving up the locations of Jews. <clears throat> so none of these cowards, these evil bastards who have steered Everything else, all the other groups, they, they steer the clergy, the courts and governments, the influences, the education. They are the main rotten root that has to be uprooted if ever there's going to be a decent society again because they do not care. And you may say, oh, well, oh, uh, Gates did this and Musk did that and he's, you know, et cetera. Musk sent uh, those satellite dishes to Ukraine, but he didn't do it because he wanted to help Ukraine out of the goodness of his heart. He, he had other interests. And the same thing with uh, Gates's philanthropic uh, organizations. You know, they, they're all a, a smokescreen, okay? So the second most destructive factor, I would say, are the clergy. Now, the clergy are very closely related with inequality and governments. They're sort of the middle scum in between the two. <clears throat> and they're never far from where all the trouble starts, happens and ends, if it ends. They have a very strong interest in business. It's called job security. They're false prophets, all of them. They do not care about the population because generally when hard times hit, you'll notice that these false prophets or men of the cloth 
are the ones who suffered the least, but everybody else suffers, gets persecuted, and dies. Okay. So next, which is also pretty high up, are the courts and the government, and they're controlled by the inequality and the clergies. Okay. They're leaders with no moral compass, no integrity, no honesty. Um, the majority of them are destructive, even though you might say, oh, yeah, Obama did the good thing with the ACA. Yes, he did. Um, and you might say Biden has stabilized the economy. Well, yes, he did. But you don't like the fact that he's not that smart. Well, you know, sometimes uh, the smartest leaders cause the most destruction. And I'm not saying Biden's a good guy, but he's definitely far better than Trump. Um, but and in any case, I would definitely not vote for Trump. I would certainly vote for Biden over Trump any day in a heartbeat. Now, the last group are the influencers. And these people here generally set the tone for how, oh, I'm sorry, I, I didn't give them a, a, a priority rating. There are three. And... Uh, the educational organizations are four and the influencers are five. Okay. So now instead of dragging this out, <clears throat> when everything goes, as they say, tits up, all of these get together and seek out a scapegoat. And can you guess who the scapegoat is, who the scapegoats are? They'll be the people with the least power, the ones generally that most of the population and especially those who have no rights or representation or even a right to be in a certain place. Yes, you guessed correctly. They're the immigrants. Okay. So you've got the immigrants down there and you'll notice that whenever scapegoats are sought, they are the most easy target. It happened in world war two as well with the Jews. I mean, all the rich, the cowardly bastard, rich Jews fled. It was the ordinary Jews who bore the brunt of Hitler's persecution. And guess what? They were just like ordinary Germans in, in many respects. They ate bacon. They went out with Germans. They had sex with Germans. They lived with Germans. A lot of them were essentially no different from the Germans. But because they were Jews and because of the, the destruction and havoc that the Jews had caused in Germany, the rich Jews in Germany, they were targeted as scapegoats, okay? And there wasn't a big, there wasn't another big immigrant gr group that Hitler could could uh, blame as a scapegoat. So he chose the Jews, and also he had some old beef with them, and I won't go into that here. So <clears throat> these immigrants, there are none as vulnerable as the immigrants. As I said, they have no rights and no representation. And is there really anything such as an illegal person? No person is illegal. Uh, this planet belongs to all humans. And those fools who think that immigrants are the economic problems are in for a big surprise because even though there are 11, approximately 11 million immigrants in the United States, very little is spent on the immigrants compared to how much is wasted by the wealthy, by governments, by mismanagement, by projects that fail through education that is worthless, um, such as uh, studying real analysis, set theory, and topology. Uh, sorry, I had to put that in, but it's true. Um, so, and then of course the influencers who who gather millions of views on their YouTube's, uh, YouTube uh, accounts, and they're, they're earning thousands of dollars every month for publishing basically worthless crap. And that includes everything from mathematics to, to uh, traveling to going on vacation. Who knows what else, all right? Ultimately, this group is the easiest to pick out as a scapegoat it's happened throughout history. Normally, the ones at the bottom are the ones who are most vulnerable, who are the ones who are most in need, who are the ones who need the most help. But in order to preserve their relationship, these five groups will work with each other. I mean, there's no way the inequality group will easily scapegoat the clergy group. 
and there's no way the clergy group will scapegoat the government, okay? And similarly, there's no way the government will scapegoat education, if that makes sense, okay? And likewise, the influencers just basically peddle the trash that comes out of educational organizations in most cases. So that's pretty much it. We're living in a world which for approximately 6,000 years has had no peace. And who or what is the main reason of all our suffering and misery? Yes, it's the wealthy rich, the wealthy rich reptiles. Okay, they are to blame. They are the cause of all human misery and suffering. You may not agree with me, but every war even has a, an economic uh, factor or an economic uh, reason for its being that uh, most people tend to miss. I mean, okay, the depression was naturally economic, but and a war came, uh, a war came before it, and a war came after it. So, throughout history, we've had these so-called great atlases and leaders who've done nothing but destroy the planet have caused immeasurable suffering, tears, misery, harm. If you want to blame anyone, blame the rich. I'm John Gabriel, and this is the New Calculus Channel. Till next time.